that's what this video is all about is moisture and uh, and how it relates to concrete curing and being nice and hard this is the uh, chicken coop uh, foundation and uh, I've been going at it for several days I've lost track at this point I've got it covered up because I want to keep the moisture in the concrete uh, when concrete uh, hardens up it's not drying it is curing and that's a chemical process and it's a process that requires water uh, so if you want to keep it nice and moist while it is doing its thing that's why I've got it covered up uh, when I was uh, done the other day I, I, 48 hours ago I did the last bit of work on it got it all covered up to make sure that it wouldn't dry out in the sun and then yesterday I pulled these guys back and wet the whole thing down and then covered it up again you're gonna get much stronger concrete if you uh, make sure that it stays nice and moist <laughs> while you are uh, you know, letting it uh, go through its cure process. So I'm going to open this up. I'm about to uh, start for today, and we can look at it together. I got these on here uh, for uh, for wind, so it doesn't blow away. Okay. Another thing that I uh, make sure that I uh, keep nice and moist is uh, the cinder blocks before they go on. You can see there's a little kid pool back over here, and what I'm doing is I'm grabbing the cinder blocks. There's a pile over them uh, by the cars over there. I wheelbarrow them down and I throw them into the pool and I let them sit uh, prior to getting put into the wall. And the reason for that is that if you put them on dry, as soon as they touch the wet concrete uh, or you know the mortar mix there, they're gonna start like a sponge just sucking the moisture out of the, uh, the concrete that you have there. So by having them be nice and wet when you put them on, uh, you're, you're going to eliminate that. You know, I don't want them usually dripping wet when I do it though, so what I'll do is I'll uh, take a block and put it like up on top of the other blocks that are in there so it's not literally in the water itself and I'll let it sit there for a little bit and then uh, when I want to use it I'll take another, uh, a second one, put it up to drip dry and then take the one that's been drip drying for a while and then when I need the next one I take the one that I took out so it gives them a chance to kind of drip dry at least a little bit so they're not like flowing moisture all over the place. But, So, so far so good on this. Eight feet across, 12 feet deep, door is going to be here. This is the highest that the foundation is going to be going uh, up on this side here. So uh, once I fill uh, all these guys in with uh, concrete, I'm going to be putting the anchor bolts in a staggered pattern uh, across this whole side. At this point, it's going to go up to the full size height wall because we've got the higher dirt over here. It's going to come all the way around back here and go full height over to here. I might have it come around the corner a little bit too. That'll give it a little bit of added uh, structural stability by instead of having it just be a finger coming out over here, having a little bit of a, a brick coming off on that side. I haven't 100% decided on that. One thing I want to note about six inch block, and that's what I did this with, is this is all six inch block. I usually work with eight inch block, which means that they have a dimension that is uh, eight inches uh, thick and 16 inches wide. Uh, 16 inches you'll notice is double 8 inches and that kind of works a lot nicer than the 6 inch block. This is the first experience I've had with 6 inch uh, and the reason for that is that well let's say you're going to do a complete course across here from this surface over to this surface uh, where the brick starts here and, and ends over there. If you do that uh, everything's going to fit in really really nicely but then when I kick this one in so that I can have uh, this piece uh, you know kind of uh, work to like interlock as we go up when I kick this in because uh, this is only being kicked in uh, six inches uh, in, as opposed to eight inches which is uh, you know half of the length of the block um, if we were to kick it in half the length, half the length of block on both sides, it would remove an entire block from the equation. Um, but because it's only being kicked in six inches instead of eight inches, um, we're left with a little gap. There's a bit of a gap here. There's a bit of a gap over there, and I have to uh, I have to in infill those. Now, when you work with eight-inch blocks, it doesn't work that way because uh, their thickness is half of their length. Uh, and this is the first time I've worked with these, so that was a little bit of a surprise to me as I was doing it. I was like, what am I doing wrong? And I'm like, oh yeah, right, math, math. <laughs> so, um, you know, that's fine, but I, I just figured I'd throw it out to you guys. Uh, but what I'm doing today is I'm going to wet all this stuff back down. Uh, I'm going to get these guys infilled, and uh, we're going to start on a course of bricks over the, uh, the whole back over here. But the key to the whole process is making sure that everything stays moist.